The following review is going to be on Core Class Studio Series 86 Autobot Ratchet. Stay tuned. Rod and Spill, and today we're going to do another <clears throat> Core Class review. This time it's Studio Series 86 Autobot Ratchet from Transformers the Movie. First, take a look at the package. It's a little Autobot Ratchet, Transformers the Movie logo. Transformers Generations, and it says Studio Series. And there's the Transformers the Movie logo. There's the UPC. It is a core class figure. There's Ratchet. <clears throat> and 15 steps Autobot Ratchet. All right, I've already taken this guy out of the pack. So first we're gonna take a look at him. <clears throat> and as with all the Studio Series, it's got a little backdrop, which is pretty cool. That is the Autobot Shuttle backdrop. And... Next, we'll take a look <clears throat> at the instructions. All right, <clears throat> it doesn't say Studio Series 86. It just says Studio Series. But um, this is from the movie. And let's see, you put his two guns in his hands. No big deal. You transform them into the vehicle. And the two guns go on the side. Pretty basic. But as for a court class figure, this guy is <clears throat> pretty complex. And here is the Autobot shuttle. And then we'll take a look at the two the two guns. Are they the same? Let's see. <clears throat> and no, they're not the same because they both peg on to the side. And it is silver and white. There you go, and two of them the same. <clears throat> All right, let me uh, zoom in a little better. There we go. So there is Ratchet, and let's just put his little his little guns on him. So we'll put guns in each hand. So he's a two-fisted Autobot Ratchet. And let's see if he's Bloosh compatible. Um, just barely. There you go. Just barely. They don't hold on too good. But you can see they are Bloosh compatible. Now, <clears throat> for articulation, the Ratchet, <coughs> his head, does spin 360 degrees, <clears throat> the arm goes 360 degrees, goes out, 90 degree at the elbow, elbow rotation, pretty cool. Uh, you can turn him around here, you gotta move this up. He does have waist rotation, you just gotta move this piece up. Uh, <clears throat> other arm, again, elbow, 90, rotate. Um, let's see, he kicks up 90 degrees, he kicks back, he goes to the side, not quite 90, if you move this, you can get more than 90 bend, but with his leg closed, you almost get 90, and no feet rockers, but he's a core class, so what do you expect? He's actually pretty complicated too, he's not... <clears throat> I still think the hot rod is the biggest disappointment they have. It's just, you know, we see how prime is and you see how complicated ratchet is. And then you get to hot rod and it's just disappointment. But anyway, and that let's look at ratchet. <clears throat> so, typical van. He's got the blue windows, the blue windows. He's got the medical insignias with the Autobot insignia in the middle. Uh, you've got white arms, then you got red for the fists. You got red on the belt area with a little white grill. Uh, the feet are white. You got some detailing. You got all the wheels right here. He compacts pretty good. Uh, the back, really no backpack at all. Just this top, there's the back bumper, or the front bumper, I should say. So he's a good figure. Um, and you can get him into weird poses. You know, because these core class figures, for the price point, I think they're worth getting. So, <clears throat> let's put his guns back on. 
Now we're gonna look at some of the other comparisons in the core class range. Okay, now, <clears throat> first we're gonna bring out Optimus. We're gonna bring out Hot Rod. And we're gonna bring out Rat Trap. Now these so far are the only core class Autobot figures. They seem to have an overabundance on Decepticons in this class. All right, we'll put those back. And then we're gonna bring out the two Megatrons, the G2 and the G1. So they're a little taller than Ratchet, but pretty cool. Uh, we'll bring out the two Shockwaves. One's from the Bumblebee movie, and one is just the, um, like, the leader class Earthrise. We'll bring out the two Jets, Skywarp and, or Thundercracker. One of the two, and Starscream. And then you've got Soundwave. And then the next ones, we're just going to bring in <clears throat> Studio Series Ratchet from the Bumblebee movie. So I thought that would be a pretty cool uh, comparison. And then <clears throat> Voyager, even though he's a deluxe size, uh, Studio Series 86. Ironhide, which he comes with two little pegs on top, which are probably going to hold Ratchet's light bar. So <clears throat> right now, they've got Ratchet in core class and Ironhide in Voyager class. Pretty soon, I bet you they come out with an Ironhide core class and a Ratchet Voyager size figure. And that is all the comparisons. All right, the Transformer. First, we get rid of the guns. He's he's not that complex, but he is pretty complicated. Okay, so you fold this down, pull the head in, close that up, take this top piece, and swing it up. So now you got the top. And there he is. Now. Then what you're going to do is pull the arms out to the side, rotate it this way, and then you're going to rotate these back. Now the fists, I think you want the fists uh, like this. So you want the fists pointing out, okay? Then what you want to do is rotate this whole area so the bumper is at the front. And then he'll move at the waist right here. So you got this this joint right here at the waist. So you want to move this whole thing back. And then what you want to do is rotate this quarter and open it up. So you rotate it so the wheel's on the ground. And then you open this whole thing up. And that's what you got. Now, so you got to click this together, and it'll go above that tab right there, and clip the back together. It's got a big clip right there, and then these, there's a little tab right here. I don't know if you can see that with all the white, and that's going to go in right there. So you're going to fold that in. And that little, little tab goes in. You're going to fold this out. Little tab goes in. And Ratchet is done. This side's not going in. Here we go. And there is your ambulance mode Ratchet. And he's a pretty cool one. I mean... Yeah, he's got the big things on the side, but when you see the iron hide, the Voyager size, it's the same problems. You got these joints. There's not much you can do about it, though. But <clears throat> let's look at the windshield wipers. You got the gray bumper. You got the bar lights. Pretty cool. I wonder if you could stick this one in here. Whoops. <laughs> that popped out. All right. Uh, it'd be nice if they kind of painted this. Little, uh, you know, like the back windows blue, but they didn't. Here is the back bumper, the wheels, all the wheels move freely, not too bad. Uh, let's see, there's the bottom, that side. So he's got some detailing, not much, but what do you expect? He is a core class figure. 
<clears throat> and what you do is you got these little holes here and you put the guns in that side you put the gun in that side <clears throat> oh you know what we didn't do a ratchet with the but when we transform back we'll put them in the uh, in the display all right <clears throat> and there is a ratchet now let's do some let's do just the thin ones We'll do that one. We'll do that one. How's that? Nope. Nah, it doesn't work on an ambulance. All right. Now let's do some. We're not going to do all the comparisons, but we'll do some of the vehicle comparison. All right. And the first vehicle comparison is going to bring the Optimus Prime core class figure. So that's how Prime lines up. <clears throat> then we're going to bring in Hot Rod. There you go. <clears throat> now I'm going to bring in just the ground vehicles. There is the Megatron G2 tank with the Ratchet figure. They're both core class. Here is the Shockwave core class figure <clears throat> from the Bumblebee movie. Now, here is the new Voyager um, Ironhide. Now, notice how it's very similar in design. You have this one joint right there. You have the one joint right there. The arms are up here, the arms are up here. So it's amazing how they took this guy and shrunk him down with little ease, and that's what you got there. So basically, though, I can't wait. And see, now you have a these two pins hold the weapons, but I bet you um, Ratchet will have a light bar, and you could probably put the light bar on one of the guns like the Red Alert figure. So, that is those two guys. <clears throat> and then I'm going to bring in Studio Series Bumblebee. They imagined what a Cybertronian ambulance would look like. Still keep the basic red and white. The blue window. On all, all, I did a pretty good job. But this guy drives me nuts transforming it. Because if you don't do the legs right way, you yell and scream and curse for 15 minutes before you finally figure it out. All right, and as always, <clears throat> what I do is I always transform them back. Reviewers that only do one way do you a big disservice because a lot of times it's a lot harder to go back one way than it is to do another way. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to unpeg these and just <clears throat> peel these back like that. And next what we're going to do is... Take these and fold these. We'll fold these in and we'll take this whole piece and fold it out. And then we'll bring all of this down on this double joint. Okay, then at this point we'll just rotate these around. And then you can close the legs up. And we'll just turn the legs around. There you go. So now you've got the right legs, you've got the right uh, chest. And then you want to take these, pull these out, rotate them a turn, pull them down, and rotate these one turn. So, rotate these turn, one turn, turn them down, rotate these one turn, and then flip this back, pull the hood down, flip the head up. Hey, my head just got... Oh. The head was stuck there. What I had to do was move this whole thing. If the head gets stuck, once you rotate this, it gets to a certain point where it'll bring the head back. I didn't know that. Close this up. <clears throat> straighten them out. Now Ratchet is back to his robot mode. <clears throat> and that's about all I could say for Ratchet. So if you like my video, hit like, hit notification, subscribe to the channel. Uh, not only do we Transformers, but we do DC figures, we do Marvel figures, we do Lego, we do Funko Pops, we do it all. There's a link below to buy this guy from Amazon or Entertainment Earth or some other one, feel free to do that. And there is, like I promised, Ratchet with the Autobot Shuttle. Uh, like I said, just turn on notifications and all that good stuff, subscribe to the channel, help me out a lot. And as always... 
We'll have Ratchet make his last stand before he's his demise in Transformers the movie. Bang, bang. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Rodimus Bill out saying, rest in peace, Ratchet. You were a good friend. Thank you.